Hello friends, good morning. This is Dr. Saran Reddy, MBBS, MD, Anesthesia and I graduated from PGMER Chandigarh, the world's largest department of anesthesia, both in terms of uh, the volume of cases we do and the number of uh, residents and faculty, which amounts approximately to 250. And today I'm here to discuss about the career prospects of anesthesia and uh, whether it is a right option or um, is a guarding option whether to choose anesthesia or not. In that, first I'll tell my own experience. Why I took anesthesia? I always say, and I took anesthesia, if someone asks me if it is by chance or by choice, it's a partial mix-up. The reason is, my first choice is always, always emergency medicine, and second is always anesthesia, third is community medicine. Though it looks weird, I have my own reasons. I'll explain. When I got uh, a decent rank in AIMS and PGI, like when I attended the counseling, in AIMS, I took anesthesia, and AIMS have MD emergency medicine seats then, and that was the only year, um, Emergency medicine seats are picked up by rank 9 and rank 12, and I was left with anesthesia. Though I have other all surgical branches available, then I went to PGI, and unfortunately, PGI doesn't have an emergency medicine course then, and uh, I, have, I took up anesthesia. And to choose between uh, anesthesia, even in PGI, I have wide options available, but still, uh, I took anesthesia. Among this PJ and AIMS anesthesia and any day, like uh, when I uh, inquired, the PJ anesthesia in terms of volume of cases we do is uh, always good and the clinical exposure, so I opted for that. Then, why anesthesia in particular? I'll tell you the three reasons, among the many, the three reasons predominantly. One, this is the prominent branch where you can keep in touch with almost every branch of ev every other specialty of the medicine. Starting from like, not only the surgical branches, when you go for intensive care, you get yourself interlinked with uh, the pre and paraclinical subjects. The second, you, you will be seen as a savior or superhero uh, when you have been called in a code blue, like you go there and people are waiting and like uh, you just intubate and like immediately um, save that patient, it will be an immense and intense satisfaction, uh, instant satisfaction. It, that is what like uh, you'll try for. And third, it is the one which relieves the pain. And now here I'm going to discuss about uh, what are the career prospects, like what are the future scope of that. After doing MD anesthesia, after completing your MD anesthesia, you have wider options like cardiac anesthesia, neuro anesthesia, pediatric anesthesia, transplant anesthesia, trauma anesthesia, intensive care medicine, and pain medicine. And obstetric anesthesia is coming up. And you can uh, choose your branch of interest depending upon um, the interest you develop during your MD anesthesia, and you can uh, go ahead with this. And the main reason why students hesitate or like think twice to take or to take up anesthesia as a branch is they don't have proper exposure during uh, their undergraduation. That is where when you have been you have been thrown into such a situation where you have to choose something where which you are not aware. Obviously, you will be in uh, a lot of confusion whether you will be taking a right decision or like uh, whether you are uh, compromising. Uh, and remember, guys. And the another misconception. What people say is like, uh, it's a dependent branch, it's always behind the curtains. And I want to say one thing. If it's a dependent branch, a dependent branch in the sense like uh, you have to depend on surgeons, it's vice versa also the true. And surgeons also has to depend on us like uh, the, the case won't be done without the help of um, uh, anesthesiologist, the engaged branch of medicine like uh, which is progressing leaps and bounds. And the anesthesia which you, s you might have seen is completely different from what uh, the anesthesia is uh, progressing now with uh, the wider varieties of uh, the equipment and the, the anesthesia safety, the importance of uh, anesthetic safety, and the no more the anesthetist is just an intraoperative thing, starting from the surgery and uh, ending the surgery, putting a spinal or like sitting. It's a complete uh, setup of perioperative physician, starting like uh, preoperatively, following it up, providing care intraoperatively and following it up postoperatively, uh, not only addressing the pain component, but also uh, taking care of his uh, hemodynamics. The another misconception is we will be always behind the curtains and like we won't be exposed to the patient. No, that's not the case nowadays. Like uh, you have to go and you will go and interact with the patient preoperatively, and uh, you ha you are the person who are going to reinforce and uh, ha develop the sort of confidence that you are going to be his anesthesiologist tomorrow and you are going to take care of him. That is, you are addressing the most crucial part of the patient's life. That is like uh, uh, his fear that what happens to when he has been anesthetized. You when you go and interact with him and address his square 
where is that is where the, you develop the first contact with the patient and you manage intraoperatively and postoperatively when you relieve his pain that is what um, that the immense satisfaction the uh, it's not only for you but also the patient recognizes you and uh, so uh, don't think like uh, the, the days were gone only like sitting and uh, the patient comes in, inside the theater uh, administer anesthesia go off it is like a complete spectrum it's a perioperative physician the new term which has been used starting from uh, preoperatively and ending uh, postoperatively now coming to the prospects of anesthesia after completing your md anesthesia what are the options available one you want to enter into like uh, further academics like uh, taking up super specialization branches which i discussed other you can choose our fellowships which are like uh, two year fellowships like uh, which are offered by fnbs and uh, third like you know you do a one year fellowships in that particular uh, branches four you can go abroad and um, by doing frca and five you can join into the jobs either in the government colleges or government medical colleges private medical colleges freelancing corporate i'll just describe um, each thing in government setup and uh, i mean teaching hospitals if you go you can join as a senior resident uh, and you can join as uh, after senior residency you can join as assistant professor and you can continue your career and if you want to come into the corporate sector or freelancing it will be an uh, instantaneous um, working in the job and here what is the amount you are going to uh, get the salary pay scale as i have gone um, as i worked as a senior resident in pgm chandigarh and then i um, at presently i am working as uh, a consultant in uh, a corporate hospital in hyderabad as i i can clearly describe like uh, what is the spectrum once you come out i can confidently say this is one branch no one will say like uh, there's no uh, vacancy available you will be always be uh, welcomed with um, both the hands the reason is the supply versus demand ratio the anesthesia uh, one anesthesiologist are like uh, an anesthesiologist is nowadays not only uh, addressing uh, the specialties like ent ophthalmology general surgery orthopedics and ob, OB gynae super specialties like um, pediatric surgery ctvs plastic surgery neurosurgery uh, urology in addition to this the spectrum has widened to such a uh, such as area like ects for the psychiatric uh, for the psychiatric cases for ects and for radiotherapy for interventional radiology for um, pulmonologists doing a bronchoscopy uh, uh, in a critical cases and um, for gastroenterology so the spectrum has widened so the demand is uh, always about paramount and like you will never be um, free once you come out like the people are waiting to take you up um, in any setup and regarding the pay scales it depends upon uh, uh, whether you want to uh, stay in a teaching hospital or in a go- the teaching hospital also the government or private or you want to come to the corporate setup or you want to do the freelancing or you want to practice uh, the intensive care or you want to uh, set up a pain medicine uh, opd clinic if it is you are uh, starting as um, a senior resident in a teaching hospital in a central institute it starts with a six digit like 1 lakh salary and uh, in the state medical colleges and uh, in a private medical colleges it's somewhere between 75 to 90000 it starts with and uh, the every year increments will be there and if you come to the corporate setup uh, again in a corporate setup you can practice uh, and join in a hospital individually or you can work it as in a groups like uh, uh, the group anesthesiology practices where in either ways like approximately it starts with uh, 80 to 90000 for uh, fresher and if you are from central institutions it will be like at least uh, 10000 um, uh, uh, higher when you start and as you progress gradually within 2 um, to 3 years you are going to touch 1.5 lakhs and if it is in a freelancer for a for a freelancer i'm saying all these things about md anesthesia if you are uh, if you are coming up as a super specialist your pay starts with uh, somewhere 2 to 2.5 depending upon this there are transplant anesthetists who are getting at uh, 3 to 3.5 cardiac anesthetic cardiac anesthetic neuro anesthetic depending upon the branch and the hospital and the demand like uh, it varies it starts with 2 lakhs for a super specialist at least and then coming to the freelancing freelancing we see like uh, depending it all completely depends upon your attitude guys uh, there are people who are earning from uh, 80 it ranging up to 5 uh, to 6 lakhs also depending upon how you balance between your um, uh, personal life and the stress levels and uh, where you want to practice like whether it is in the cities or like a, a metropolitan cities or two tier cities or three tier cities and uh, finally when you set up an intensive care like you can set up an intensive care on your own and uh, that Uh, that all depends upon like uh, how well you manage and you can set up a uh, pain clinic this is and there are senior anesthesiologists who are earning like uh, 8 to 10 lakhs per month also that took, uh, that will take a lot of time and only thing 
remember whichever branch you take let it be anesthesia or any other branch try to be on the uh, try to be on the top 1 percentile or at least top 1 to 2 percentile that means you have to know the in and outs of the branch like so that you are going to um, you have to differentiate yourself from the rest then you are going to uh, lead the life uh, in a well designed fashion and now, which college or which hospital to get um, to join and what to see while selecting uh, a branch basically anesthesia uh, you are going to admit it, an anesthesia is though in a whole it is same it it has minor variations when you are addressing each and every branch of uh, anesthesia so obviously you have to select a college or a hospital which can facilitate you the wide variety of cases which you can get uh, exposed like uh, starting from oncology to pediatric surgery to geriatric surgery and all you have to see the hospital which has a wide spectrum of cases or the hospital which has wide variety of spectrum of cases and also uh, the uh, recent equipment and nowadays robotic anesthesia is coming up like clads and clabs this is not like not only we see in the other foreign countries and it's very much in the india like uh, pga is developing uh, the is pioneering in uh, the robotic anesthesia and then coming up to um, after deciding about which colleges and hospitals depending upon the wide variety of spectrum of cases and uh, the academic exposure you get uh, then what are the main advantages you are going to get in anesthesia one you are going to get in uh, touch with each and every branch of um, medicine so that when you go uh, when you want to choose your further super specialization like uh, you will come to know like in which area you are interested and you are opting for intensive care medicine like obviously you are already in touch with uh, at least in at least in PGI, we have eight months of minimum eight months of uh, intensive care posting, so you'll be well versed. And uh, in the same way as your touch and overall holistic view of all the branches, it's very easy to crack. Another doubt many people ask is, sir, uh, we want to interact with the patients. For you, there is one branch like that is called pain medicine, where you can set up an independent OPD, and uh, while practicing during uh, the morning hours, anesthesia, intensive care in the evening, you can open a pain clinic and run an OPD, where that that way you can um, uh, have that proper feel of addressing uh, a patients in a OPD interacting with them uh, one to one and the other advantages of being an anesthesiologist other um, in addition to uh, being in touch um, with all other branches of medicine the instant satisfaction when you uh, save a patient well, let it be a code blue and you uh, you rescued a patient let it be when the patient is like uh, in a respiratory failure you went and uh, you tube the patient and uh, whether the patient is suffering with a ventilator settings or uh, in dyssynchrony you go and adjust them people look for you when the patient is suffering from pain like we'll get a call from uh, the surgical branches you and once you administer a drug the patient will feel faint, pain free that sort of satisfaction you see from the patient's face is unmatchable guys like um, believe me and th it's an instant satisfaction you can't you have you, there's no need for you to wait for hours and um, days together you'll get an instant satisfaction and another the most important thing is if you have a lion's heart and the brisk reflexes this is the branch for you the reason is within a seconds you have to take a decision and you have to uh, that decision is going to save that patient and you will get an Im instant satisfaction and uh, mark it like you, once you experience this like uh, you will uh, enjoy it for the lifetime and at the end i want to say you like before choosing anesthesia to know what exactly anesthesia is just spend one day in a government medical college and one day in a super specialty hospital in your town and if you go to the department and ask sir i am um, i saw a ma'am like i'm going to uh, think i'm in the process of thinking to take anesthesia as a uh, my career option can i spend one day in the department no one will deny that and uh, just spend then you'll know it's not anesthesia is not just about like uh, uh, going intraoperatively and performing it's a complete spectrum of perioperative physician and once you take it guys i'm not reinforcing but i'm just remember you'll never ever regret that and uh, also I want to enforce ISA is almost on the verge of like uh, the discussions with uh, uh, National Medical Board like to introduce anesthesia as an undergraduate uh, a subject in undergraduate curriculum so further the scope um, increases so you will never regret taking an uh, the branches anesthesia for any further doubts like uh, you can feel free to contact on uh, my Facebook page uh, Saran Reddy and uh, feel free to contact we'll be more than happy to help you and uh, all the very best guys see you